Hi friends, welcome to Delicacies on the Plate. Today I am going to make Loki Kofta Curry, that is Bottle Guard Kofta. So let's start making this delicious curry. To make Loki Kofta, here I have taken one medium size of Bottle Guard, which I have peeled and I have grated it. Then one medium bowl of chickpea flour, salt to taste, one teaspoon of this is carom seeds. 1 teaspoon of garam masala, 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then here I have 7 to 8 green chilies and around 7 to 8 peeled garlic. Then 1 tablespoon of dry mango powder. All these things I am going to use to make kofta. First I will make the paste of green chilli and garlic. I will make a dry paste and now here in the grated bottle guard I will squeeze and I will remove the excess water out of it. If not done so, you won't be able to make koftas. The batter will be very flowy. So it's very much necessary to remove the excess water out of the bottle guard. After squeezing all the excess water, I have kept the grated bottle guard in a mixing bowl. In this, I will add all the dry spices, goes in the chilli and garlic paste, followed by the dry mango powder. And now I will mix all the ingredients well. And slowly I will add in the chickpea flour. Chickpea flour I will add in till it starts to bind together nicely. It should not happen that chickpea flour should be too much in quantity. It should be just appropriate to make the proper koftas. After the kofta batter is ready, add in salt to taste. Salt I am adding at the last. This is because if the salt is added in the first step, bottle guard will start to leave moisture and the batter will become very flowy. So, Salt is the last ingredient I am adding here and after this I will quickly start frying it. Now here in a pan I have already kept oil for heating. I will just check with a small portion of the batter. If it starts to sizzle that means the oil is ready and the koftas can be fried. I will take small portion of the kofta batter. I'll just roll it in between the fingers making a round shape and I'll slowly drop it into the oil, heated oil. So in this way you can make nice round shaped koftas. At the most here I have added around 7 to 8 koftas to be fried so that it is easier for me to flip the koftas and fry the other side. When one side starts to turn golden in color, I will flip the koftas and fry the other side. I have kept the flame on a medium heat so that the koftas are well cooked from inside as well. The same process you can follow to make any kofta, maybe cabbage kofta or any vegetable kofta you can make with the same ingredients you can make the curry out of this koftas or you can just enjoy this as a simple tea time snack you can serve this with mint chutney or tomato sauce this will taste really very delicious so once the koftas are ready I'll remove it from the oil Then after the first batch, I will fry the second batch of the koftas in the similar way. Now let's start towards making the curry for which here I have taken one large onion. To this goes in one big piece of ginger and 7 to 8 garlic cloves. To this I will add quarter cup of water and 
I'll just grind it to a fine paste. In a kadhai or a pan, here I have added half teaspoon of cumin seeds to green chilies slit from the center. Let it splutter and then goes in the ginger, garlic and onion paste. To this goes in the dry spices. So 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, half teaspoon of coriander seeds powder and 3 4 teaspoon of garam masala. Cook this till the paste starts to leave oil from the sides. Now here you can see that the paste has become very shiny. It means that it is properly cooked. To this I will add the tomato puree which I have made by grinding two medium sized tomatoes into the grinder and now I am going to again cook it till it starts to leave oil from the sides. I have kept the flame on a medium heat and herein I am stirring it continuously so that the paste, the masala should not stick to the pan. After the paste is done, I will add in water. So herein goes around one and half glass of water or up to the desired consistency you can add it. And after the water starts to boil in, the curry starts to boil in, I have added the koftas. Give it a gentle stir. Add in salt to taste. Mix it well. And then I will cover and cook for around 5 to 7 minutes. After 5 to 7 minutes, herein I am adding 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi. This is the dried fenugreek leaves. Just roast it, lightly roast it. Crush it in between your palms and add it to the curry. This will give a nice taste to the curry. I will again cover and let it simmer so that the flavor of the kasuri methi infuses well with the curry. Finally garnish with chopped green coriander leaves. So delicious. Bottle guard kofta curry is ready. Flocky kofta curry is ready. Serve it with roti or naan. If you have liked this recipe, do give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more such delicious recipes on delicacies on the plate.